How do Genesis and Revelation compare? In Genesis, there's the creation of the heavens and earth. In Revelation, the heaven and earth pass away, and there's a new heaven and earth. The sea is created in Genesis, but in Revelation, there's no more sea. Jerusalem is founded as the city of Salem and is earthly in Genesis. In Revelation, New Jerusalem comes down from heaven. Uh, Genesis, creation is cursed. In Revelation, there's no more curse. In Genesis, there's daily sorrow. In Revelation, there's no more sorrow. In Genesis, thorns and thistles bring pain. However, in Revelation, there's no more pain in heaven. In Genesis, the virgin-born Savior is promised. In Revelation, that virgin-born Savior is saving and reigning. In Genesis, Abraham lives by faith. In Revelation, men are judged according to their faith in Christ and then according to works. In Genesis, Abraham believes in resurrection. In Revelation, there's re resurrection to life and to death. In Genesis, lamb skins were made to cover the nakedness of Adam and Eve. However, the perfect lamb, the risen Jesus, is reigning as the Lamb of God in the book of Revelation. Land is promised to Israel in Genesis. Israel's living in the land by Revelation. In Genesis, Melchizedek is king of Salem. In Revelation, Jesus is king of kings and lord of lords. In Genesis, there's the marriage of the first Adam. In Revelation, the marriage of the second Adam, Jesus. Uh, there's death entering into creation in Genesis. However, in Revelation, death is overcome. Genesis, we find Babylon is built. In Revelation, we find Babylon is destroyed. In Genesis, Satan opposes God and man. But in Revelation, Satan is judged and punished. In Genesis, man is kept from the tree of life. In Revelation, man is given access to the tree of life by Christ. Genesis, man is banished from the garden. In Revelation, he's given entry to God's city. In Genesis, division of light and darkness is set. However, in Revelation, there's no more need for night because Jesus is the light. In Genesis, there's a division of land and sea. However, in Revelation, no more sea. In Genesis, the sun and moon are created. But in Revelation, there's no need of sun and moon. In Genesis, man is divided by language. In Revelation, man is united in Christ. In Genesis, man is given dominion and he fails. In Revelation, Jesus is the lamb that stands, though slain, with complete victory. And then again, in Genesis, the beginnings of the nations. In Revelations, the nations are judged. And then Genesis, man is in a prepared garden. And in Revelation, he's in a prepared city. In Genesis, man thirsts for the water of life. In Revelation, he's allowed to drink of the water of life freely. In Genesis, there's gold in the land. However, for those who are saved in Revelation, we get to walk on golden streets. In Genesis, redemption is promised. And in uh, Revelation, redemption is accomplished. We find there are many more comparisons to Genesis and Revelation. However, those will do for today. To receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you can call 1-800-JESUS-2000. Until next time, remember to search the scriptures. Jesus said, they are they which testify of me. Oh,